Hey guys, welcome back to Two Cents Beat. My name is Sadie and I am back with the final episode of Raven of the Inner Palace. All right, so Jusetsu has come face to face with the owl, the man who is trying to kill her. We've had some pretty big reveals in that he is actually the body, the incarnate form of her goddess's brother. So the two gods that inhabit both of them are siblings and he is here to kill his sister and essentially set her free. Unfortunately, that seems to require that Jusetsu also dies, which is not good for us because we need her to live. So hopefully uh, she'll be able to figure out something. Hi, Mazzy. Hopefully she'll be able to figure out a way to prevent her death and maybe break the curse. I don't know if it's too early in the story for something like that, but that's what I'm hoping for since I don't think we'll be getting a second season. I am kind of hoping that they will wrap up the story somehow. Unless there is second season in the works, which of course I would love that, but it's not usually very likely with series like this. Bye, Mazzy. I'd rather just get it right now. <laughs> But I'll, I mean, honestly, I'll take what I can get because this series has been great so far. So with that in mind, how about we just jump on into the last episode of the series and see what happens. Let's go. This, hearing this OST again, it kind of reminds me of Yona. Kind of reminds me of the second opening, first opening of Yona of the dawn. I'm gonna have to look to see if it's the same musical director. Oh, oh my God. They're so cute so, together. Okay, so, bye bye. Oh, even she doesn't know. Oh? Don't tell me it was poisoned. Oh, oh no. Is she just tired? Oh, we got the ending? That's cool. I like that. Oh, gosh, that was good. That gave me chills. Oh, okay, all right. Oh no. No, she's not a monster. Oh, his hand, he's still hurt. Oh, I got it. Oh. oh my god, so nonchalant. Oh, are you hungry? Oh, all the people she's like learned to care about. Goodness. She's like, no. I Give it to me. Oh, another carving. Oh, we tapped it. No. How cute. Otherwise, it would surely escape. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. They're so cute. <gasps> From inside? <gasps> it was him? Checkmate? <gasps> is he gonna? Is he gonna attack her? No, he took something. He took like a knife, a sheath knife. I love how they show incense. I don't think I've ever said it, but I. It's so cool. Instead of like smoke, it's little particles. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they say. Oh, it's done. Oh. How ominous. <gasps> Oh, she knew? Oh, wow. Don't tell me she's just accepting it. Oh! He came in just in time! Oh my god, I thought he was gonna use it on himself for a second. Ooh. He wanted to end the curse. Oh? What does he mean by that? Oh gosh! Oh, this whole time, no goodwill? Because I'm like, uh, Lin Yan, yeah. She was truly alone. So that's why he always kept pushing her, like, can't desire anything. Interesting. Okay. I like that. I like the fact that. Because I always thought he was going to be like some wise old man that knew stuff about her. But no, he's just a human who got jealous. Or... Yeah. 
just get out of here. Leave. Oh, she's bandaging him up. <laughs> um... He just says it. Oh my gosh. Oh? Just my bed, not yours. Catch your own bed. Oh, like massaging his hand. Have someone massage your hand? No. Have you. He has you to massage his hand. Oh, we're not going to get a complete a completion to the story. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm sure he'll love it. <gasps> she showed up on her own. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, look at her. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. <gasps> She's gonna call her sister. Oh my god. That kind of got to me a little bit. Oh, okay. Is it healed? Oh, that's weird. It looks like a handprint or like talons. Oh my god, somebody's gonna lose his arm. Bruh. We got less than, we got four minutes left in this episode. They can't be starting more. What is she doing? What? Oh, wow. Oh my god, look at her big smile. Oh, what the heck? <gasps> oh no, is he becoming the new body? No! I wait. Oh my god, she's not. It's not. Oh, I knew it. It is as I feared. Oh. I mean, I knew it. I had a, a, a feeling that that's what was going to happen. And then the opening is the ending. That's interesting. But I had a feeling that we weren't going to get, like, an actual conclusion. There's just too much to wrap up. But we're probably not going to get a second season either. Well, I don't know. There's been an increase in, like, shoujo-esque anime is getting a second season. So maybe... I would love it if this one gets a second season, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, those are the feathers that were, those feathers are like the ones that sprung from his hand or arm, I guess. Are we getting it a little bit more? No. That's it! Ah, I feel so... <laughs> and you know what kind of makes it worse is the fact that like, it wasn't even really a conclusion like rather than uh wrapping things up in a hopeful type manner they kind of just like teased more stuff to come like who are these people that she saw when she had this dream out of body experience thing that like called her name called her raven and then um had like feathers and stuff on their head and like who, who are those people why was a feather kind of springing out from the emperor's arm like i can kind of guess but there's no real explanation for that they kind of alluded that she is still becoming the raven there was that phrase like i am waiting in the water until i can finally become myself so it's like what is going on? They didn't get rid of the curse at all, which is what I was hoping they would do. So, uh, uh, I don't know. Is there a manga for this? I, I know there. I know it's based off of a light novel, but so I could just go buy the light novel and read that. Honestly, I probably will. I probably will just end up buying the light novel because that there was no conclusion to this whatsoever okay so it's just a light novel thankfully it is being uh translated by seven seas entertainment so um definitely gonna be picking it up oh, it's already completed it just ended earlier this year in april so it ran from april 2018 through to april uh 2020 
2022, 2022, sorry. It ran from April 2018 to April 2022, with a total of seven volumes. So that's not too bad. We, in English, the English publications, barely started. Oh, are barely starting. We're not set to get it until February of next year. 2023. That's right, I do remember seeing the announcement for it recently. Boo! Alright, well, time to go buy it so that maybe they'll see that there are people who want more of it and maybe they'll make a second season. So, if you liked this, if you liked this series, I mean, as always, if you like a series, consider buying the original source material if it's available to you and if it's within your means, because that is like the only way and the clearest way to show your support for a series, because... So yeah, I'm gonna go be buying it in February once it comes out. I definitely feel that the anime uh, probably didn't live up to the source material. Not that it was bad, but I definitely can see where there were some instances they might have had to like cut out uh cut out scenes or had to change it in order to you know keep the pacing of the story within what they were planning and everything so definitely could see where uh the source material would be the better the better choice to go with <laughs> and again not saying that the anime was bad or anything i absolutely loved actually seeing it with the music and everything i feel like the music was really a big part for um, the atmosphere of the series. I feel like it's been a long time since we've gotten a series like this, so I've absolutely been enjoying it. Uh, I thought this during the reaction, but I don't think I said it. I really enjoy the fact that although the series, the story itself deals with a lot of supernatural and like godly elements, the characters within them do not feel like super lofty or above everyone. I think the focus that they put on the characters' struggles and everything really helped to make them feel very human. Even though they are, you know, constantly dealing with like ghosts and gods and spirits and curses, whatever, you know, I like the fact that they, the characters still felt very human. Definitely helped the series feel more grounded. I really enjoyed this series. I really hope we get a second season, but as of yet, there is no news for a second season, so I'm going to be looking forward to the light novels, the English translations of the light novels. So let me know what you thought of the series in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me with this series. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, because it really does help the algorithm. Check out the socials for more anime content. Head on over to Patreon for early access and extended episode reactions. Don't forget to drink some water, and I hope to catch you guys in the next series. Bye!